search of the unknown. The universe is filled with invisible waves. Our eyes can only show us so much. We sense and we hear these waves. Mother Earth sings. We can feel the vibrations of her songs. Each planet housing its own collective consciousness. A collection of planets, currents of life, living amongst our galaxies. Each holding its own frequency. Many planets cannot thrive as we know it. Is our planet's ability to host such a large collection of species rare? For you need the right conditions for life. Steady temperatures, oxygen, the mark of life, and water. For water is a low gravity environment perfect condition for foreign life forms to thrive. Have we overlooked life forms along Earth living beside us from other planets? For the octopus has no skeletal system and can extend its muscle double the length, changing forms. There's so many species thriving together on our planet. Are we a DNA storehouse? Each species programmed their DNA a storybook. Are we a collection of cosmic tidal waves from many environments throughout the galaxies? How did so many species end up on our planet? Is this a library, a storage warehouse, a living library? where we have come to share our experience with other forms of existence. For each species is pre-programmed by their DNA, their behaviors, are e each predetermined by the form they are living in. For a bird, has flight. It's being.
behaviors, it's prey, it's mere experience, or consciously, have a complete different experience on our planet. For are we locked to our senses? and form for that shapes our experience a host to many We haven't begun to understand. Animals experience reality and their level of connection. They are plugged in to life on a different level. Experiencing through God eyes. For animals, how much do they really conceive? Are they able to have self-awareness like the humans? Within our bodies, we assimilate life and life experiences. But may I ask you, are we missing the whole point of this experience and we cannot even fathom. The animal kingdoms watch us destroying our own race. You think we're so conscious, yet unconsciously. Look what we are doing. What was the point and why have we separated all life from humans, enslaving animals? Animals are on another intelligent level and because of our lack of understanding and our disconnection to life force, I think we have missed much. Animals, nervous systems, and life force radiates God.
man has disconnected and separated. We cannot even fathom the experience with our limited consciousness. We lost the ability to communicate with animals. Yet as we tune ourselves into the force of God, radiating in our bodies, will we ever reclaim the ability communicate with one another, with all species along our planet, and learn to live in the kingdom of God, and unravel within our DNA a plan that our minds must get out of the way. And we must let a higher force bring us back to reclaim our connections to one another. What a miracle and blessing our planet and our interaction with so many species. How magnificent this existence is.